One of the best ways to promote your Facebook event is by directly displaying them on your website like this. While this can help your event reach more people, it can also encourage them to go and like your Facebook page as well. That's why in this video, I'll show you the best way to display your Facebook event on your WordPress website. If you're ready, let's get started. To display our Facebook events calendar on our website, we'll use the Smash Balloon Custom Facebook Feed Pro plugin. It allows us to create great looking and responsive Facebook feeds for WordPress very easily without using any coding. You can purchase the plugin from smashballoon.com and inside your account you'll find your download links and license key. Once you've downloaded the plugin, you can head over to your WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins on the left hand side and press add new. Now click on upload plugin at the top and simply upload the zip file you downloaded for custom Facebook feed pro. Once installed, we can activate the plugin as well. Next, let's activate our license key before creating our Facebook events feed. On the left hand side menu, you will now notice we have Facebook feed. Hover over it and click on settings. Then here, you can paste your license key and click on Activate. Now, we're ready to create our new Facebook events feed. To get started, hover over Facebook feed once again and click on All Feeds. Next, click on Add New at the top. With our plugin, you can create many different types of Facebook feeds. You can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed of content from a Facebook album, and more. In this video, we want to display our Facebook events, so let's select it here and click Next. Now we'll have to connect the Facebook page that we'll source our events from. Next, it will ask us to enter our Facebook page ID and event access token. If you want to learn how to find your page ID and generate an event access token, I've included some links to help you do that in the description of this video. I've got my page ID and event access token already, so I'll go ahead and paste those here like this and click on add source. Now that we have our event source selected, we can press next. Then you have to choose a template for your Facebook events feed. Each template provides a great looking design for the appearance of your feed. You can choose from options like default, simple masonry, widget, large grid, and more. Select the one you'd like to use and click next. And now we can see a preview of our new Facebook events feed. At the top, we have the profile picture and cover photo for our Facebook page, followed by a list of events below. Before we embed this feed onto our web page, let me show you how we can customize it. Under the customize tab, if you go into feed layout, you have options to modify how your feed is arranged. You can choose a layout like list by default, a masonry layout like this, and even a carousel layout too. Below that, we can specify the number of events we want to display on both desktop and mobile. Once you have a layout you're happy with, click on Save. Next, if you go into Color Scheme, you'll find options to change the colors of your events feed. You can inherit the color scheme from your theme, or select one of the light or dark options. And if you want to create an entirely new color scheme, you can select the Custom option, where you can select the exact colors you want for the different parts of your events feed. Once you're happy with your color scheme, click on Save on the top right corner. Then, in header settings, you can modify the header of your events calendar. You can keep a visual header like this, featuring the Facebook cover and profile photos, or you can select a simpler text header like this instead. You can also modify the title styles, the bio text, and cover photo as well. And if you make any changes, make sure to hit save. With custom Facebook Feed Pro, you can also filter the events you want to display on your calendar. Under the settings tab, click on filters. Here, you can specify words so that your feed only displays events containing those specific words or even hides events with those words you've chosen as well. If you scroll down, you can even show events within a certain date range. And if you'd like to only display past events, you can enable that at the top here as well. On our plugin, you can also view how your feed will look on desktop, tablet, and mobile to make sure your events calendar looks its best on all devices. Once you're happy with your new Facebook events calendar, you can embed it on your website. To do this, click on embed on the top right corner. Here, it will show you a dedicated shortcode for your feed. You can copy like this and click on add to a page. Then you can select the page you want to add your feed to. Now, when editing your page, you have two different ways to add your Facebook events feed. The first method is by using the shortcode block and pasting the code we copied earlier like this. Or alternatively, you can use our custom Facebook feed block for Gutenberg like this. Now that our feed has been added to our page, let's see how it looks like on the front end of our website. And here it is, our Facebook events calendar is now live on our web page. You can see that all the events in our feed had the event names, event dates, locations, and the description as well. And if you click on one of these events, it will take you to their dedicated events page on Facebook. If you'd like to add your Facebook events calendar to the sidebar or footer of your website, just click on embed like before, and instead of clicking add to a page, click on add to a widget. This will take you into WordPress widgets menu. In this example, let's add our Facebook events calendar to the sidebar. You can use one of the two methods I showed you earlier. You can use the shortcode we copied or use our custom Facebook feed block like this. And there we go. We can now save our sidebar and let's go take a look at what it looks like on the front end. Now on our live web page, we've got the sidebar on the right and you can see inside we have our responsive and beautiful looking Facebook events calendar. 
And there we go, we successfully added a Facebook events feed onto our web page and onto the sidebar as a widget. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video or need any help, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to check out Custom Facebook Feed Pro, you can find a link for it in the description of this video along with links to all our other social feed plugins for platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.